All right, we're going to set up communications between uh, HMI and a PLC. This is using uh, Rockwell products, so Factory Talk View Studio and uh, RS Logix 500. So first thing we need to do is make sure our PL uh, IP address is correct on the computer. Um, we'll go back to IP4. Uh, by default, it gets an automatic one, but uh, we're going to change it to 192.168.70.173. Uh, and uh, for IP addresses, well, uh, when you have a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, um, these first three octets have to match up exactly. And then this fourth octet can be anything you want that uh, does not match the IP of another device on the network, uh, as well as it cannot be zero. Um, so that's the rules there. Let's press OK. OK again. Close. Close. And uh, here we are in Factory Talk View Studio. We'll go to Communication Setup. Um, just to show you, here's our screens, go down to communication setup, and uh, and we're going to add a device, we'll call this device PLC, and then we should see here the uh, PLC pop up, uh, we're going to apply it, and then we're going to copy from design to runtime, and if that executes successfully, then when we come here to the runtime tag, uh, this should be highlighting gray. So it did, and we can also verify that uh, our path to design device is assigned and our path to runtime is assigned. And so what that allows us to do is to come in here um, and go to our connections, and then uh, you see I already put these tags in. So um, you know you can name it doesn't have to be named PLC. You can name it anything, and when you name it, that name pops up right here. So uh, we can refresh all these folders. Uh, we'll go to PLC. Again, that could be named anything. Uh, we'll go to online. And then we can go to some of our bits or whatever we want. So um, uh, B03. Uh, one strange thing with uh, Factory Talk View Studio is that you can't designate to the bit level by clicking there. Uh, you didn't see any. Again, you, you didn't see anything where we could say bit three uh, binary three zero one right um, and you can, so uh, we can't type anything I'm trying to type right now can't type nothing um, so what we have to do is put a forward slash in front of that three and then say whatever bit it is so say it's bit four right um, so that would be b3 b34 and uh, that's how you designate that address and so um, that's how you settle the communications. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once you know what to do. Um, sometimes, uh, if you're getting errors in communications and stuff, it might be beneficial just to uh, just to remove this guy and then and then remake him. Uh, I've done that before and it just seems to work sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basics of, of setting up comms between your HMI uh, panel view and uh, your PLC uh, um, Micrologics running uh, 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 RSLogix 500.